Well, it seemed like that things were going well, but Senate Republicans have hit a snag with their plan to overhaul the tax code. Can it still pass by the end of the day? Our Washington, D.C. Bureau reporter joins us now from the nation's capital, uh, Samantha Joe Roth, joins us now with more. Samantha Joe. Well, Jody, it has certainly been a scramble here in the Senate over a Republican plan to overhaul the tax code. Now, GOP leadership is saying that they do have the 50 votes that they need to get this measure over the finish line. This after lawmakers huddled in Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell's office this morning. And, you know, there are still some holdouts at this point. Now, Republicans had to kick start work on the tax plan into Friday when deficit hawks threatened to kill the bill during an unexpected floor showdown on Thursday afternoon. Now, GOP leadership has been facing a few major problems. The first is that a leading nonpartisan Senate analysis of the bill came out on Thursday and said, nope, these tax cuts will not pay for themselves. In fact, they add to the deficit to the tune of about $1 trillion over the next decade. Now, second, the Senate rules wouldn't let them include something that Tennessee Senator Bob Corker wanted in the bill, which is called a trigger that would have essentially let tax increases automatically kick in if this economic growth that Republicans are promising didn't happen. Here's what they have to figure out. It's what they're trying to figure out right now. One of the options they're talking about now is that they could stagger the corporate rate. It would start at this initial 20% rate down from 35 and cut could kind of stair step up over the next 10 years. Now, if you do that, that's really unpopular with some conservatives like Ted Cruz of Texas, who says he doesn't support it. And President Trump also has insisted that that 20% rate must be included in the bill. Now, I asked North Carolina Senator Tom Tillis about this, and this is what he had to say. I'd really like to keep the rates as low as possible. In North Carolina, when we were having this discussion, we decided to take the rates down over time. Here, I think it's necessary for us to come way off of the 35% number, and I, I really support the 20% target. We're working with other members to figure out what's necessary to get this bill passed and then work out the details with the House. So this is kind of hard math because every time you gain a senator like Corker, you might lose another one. One sign of confidence that Republicans have about this House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy, who sets the floor schedule already on Thursday, told lawmakers to come back on Monday. They were not scheduled originally to be back on Monday, but now they're expected to vote on a motion, go to conference, which is assuming that the Senate bill will pass today. Now, when this happens, if Republicans are able to pull this off by the end of the day, uh, you know, House and Senate tax committees will need to come together and put together a bill, reconcile their differences before it can head to the president's desk. But now, you know, we will keep you updated with the latest on this vote. You know, it's really uncertain at this time if it is happening today, if it will happen next week. We will keep you updated with the latest. Jody. All right. That is our Samantha Joe Roth reporting. Thank you, Samantha Joe.